How did your family feel about your career choice? My daddy was a white collar man, pastor man. I said, no, I'm gonna sing them music, then you have to sing circular music, you have to come to my house. I said, but daddy, I like this music. He goes, oh, that's all you do, music, music, music. But my parents didn't realize how serious I was until three o'clock in the morning came out. Mm. Then they started distributing to their friends. Oh yes, my daughter, my daughter. <laughs> Before that, it was you ain't singing, but you know what? I was so determined. I got beaten because I was singing. Really? Yeah, man. When they're looking for me, I go to some stage show. They go to some church. They go to church and leave me in the yard. And when they come back, it's like, where is she? My brother. Oh. She She's gone to she, she gone out, she's gone to that stage show, Daddy. You know that big one? Oh, she's gone to Norwich. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not meant to be comical and to be serious, but this is just my personality. <laughs> Everybody knows already. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. So my parents, they in the beginning they were like, you know, oh, this is not what we want for her. We want my dad said, I want you to be a judge. Mm. A judge means he meant it. You know, and um, but it, music just kind of took me away from everything. Um, but my family is a musical family. My father was in a, a band with his brothers. His brother came to England, had a gospel band with his children. With oh, his children, he put in the band, cool. the Harmonizers. Okay. Yeah, and then they they're from South London. They're from York Grove Road. York Grove is in um, Dolly Peckham. York Grove. Peckham. Yeah, Peckham. Yeah. Oh yeah. York yeah. Grove. Yeah. yeah. So he, you know, that they had their back. Every summer I used to go over there. In my summer school holidays from when I was like 11, 10, 11, I thought, yeah, I'm going over there because that's where the music is. Yeah. But they didn't really get me involved in the music because I was young, but they didn't realize that the, the passion that I had for it. Um, otherwise, I would have started with my family um, in gospel. Okay. But, so I'm yeah. not all your family members into gospel? No, I've got a niece in America, Shona Dazzle. Shona Dazzle, she's... Um, She's a, a, a recording artist, she's a producer. At the moment she's signed up with VP Records. She does a lot of work with Beris Hammond, Itana, Glenn Washington. Yeah, so the whole family kind of. I've got younger members that of my family. My sister's a pianist, but she never plays the piano anymore. Okay. So, you know, everybody took a different path, but we're from a musical family on a whole, a whole, yeah. And not just singers. No, musicians. Because yeah. my niece, she plays every instrument. She produces. She does a lot of engineering. Mm -hmm. her, dad, her father, my brother, um, he did the martini advert. Okay. Do you remember the martini advert? Mm -hmm. Any time, any place, anywhere, there's a wonderful mm -hmm. world you can share. That was my brother. Wow. He did that. He did one of them. There were several martini commercials, but he did that one. Yeah. Okay. So the music has just filtered down. Yeah. Who or what inspired you to write? Uh, I think writing. I used to read quite a bit, okay. and um, I read a lot of Mills and Boone's. Okay. I think Mills and Boone's inspired me to write. Okay. Yeah. So um, like poems and stuff like that. Oh, I never did poetry. Mm -hmm. I'd more write um, something like a skit or a sketch, something like yeah. I'd write, you know, but. What I should have really done was gone into maybe videography or something, then I would have been able to, you know, to, to allow that to enter into my life. I did a bit of drama, but not as much as I wanted to because my parents didn't want me to be out in the evening doing yeah. stuff. So I didn't get to, a lot of things I wanted to do, I didn't get to do, but I don't know. <laughs> life, I'm still living, so I'll give this mm -hmm. Could you tell the Firewood family why music is so important to you? Music is very important to me because, for example, my moods, how I feel, um, situations I, 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 I mean, get involved in, things that I see, there's always a song to comfort me from that situation or to uplift me from that situation. So, you know, now I find when I used to read a lot more before, now when I listen to a song, I could be in a mood or I could want an inspiration and straight away the song comes into my head and I play and that's an upliftment. So music is very important to me because without music, I am like nobody. And I'm not just talk saying that as an artist, as a recording artist, I'm just saying it as a human being. Because music is food yeah. for our soul and for love. And we, and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's very uplifting for me. So music means everything to me. Music 
I value music more than anything else in my life apart from God. Yeah. Yeah, music comes. Which brings me to my next question. Okay. Do you believe in the most high? Do I believe in the most high? Well, it was the most high that got me to this point now for you guys to be here because I retired. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people say, oh, you don't retire this thing. My life changed because I had to go abroad to look after uh, my elderly parent. And so, you know, everything changed, a whole different way of life. And it was more about taking care of my parents' property and taking care of their land and the goat and the pig and the chicken and the fuck this and the that and the <laughs> man come to buy breadfruit and all that. So I went into a whole, for music I jumped into farming. Okay. Yeah. And obviously one day some guy phoned me up, um, singer Mandy. Mandy yeah. singer? Yeah. I kind of like, I know me and her grandmother were very close. Mm-hmm. I, we kind of, I know her from she's little and we all, you know, she grew amongst us and she said to this guy, Father Dunn, mm-hmm. um, from Yard Vibes Radio, oh, you should interview my auntie. And he said, your auntie? She said, yeah, Panchita Latouche. And he phoned me in Jamaica. And he said, oh, my name is such and such and would you like to do, I'd like to do an interview with you or whatever. I thought, the music's coming back around again. I haven't heard about music for God knows how long. Yeah. It must be God. Mm. And then uh, I didn't, you know, I put it, you know, and then we did the interview. Mm. And then he said, oh, when you come to London, I'd like to come back to London, I'd like to meet you or whatever. I came back to London and I wasn't here for two months and I did Giants of Lovers Rock. Okay. Roy, Medan- Roy Medallion, uh, Paul Etaja, um, um, Roy Medallion's, Medallion's family member, they actually mentioned to Orlando, you should have Panchita room. So all of this God was preparing for me. Yeah. Um, even with the recording of what I've done up until now, since being back, it was not my doing. It was all done by God, so the most I, he has, you know, he plays a strong influence in my life. Very strong influence. I believe it. is my next part. How does he affect your works? What well, you just said? Well, he brings all the lyrics to me. <laughs> you know, sometimes I could be on my own and all of a sudden, um, you know, uh, 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 some lyrics just come in my mind. I've got to look for my, I've got my, try and keep things close by so I can get to, you know what I mean, do my writing and, you know, and it's like I am, Sometimes it's like something says, all right, you've done a verse, you've done a, a chorus, you've done a break, stop there and leave that for another time. And I follow instructions, you know? So as I said earlier on, I'm a very spiritual person and you know, like he, God has inspired me and he's not stopped inspiring me. All these things are happening. You guys come in here. I didn't call you guys. Yeah. I didn't expect for all this to happen. So he's the one that's putting everything into place. And I appreciate that very much. I just want to remain humble and just allow him to do the work. Yeah. For me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Where has your music taken you? Um, right, my music, um, I have done a bit of traveling with my music. Um, not as much as I wanted to do, but the music has traveled to many, many countries, many cities. Yeah. Um, and I have a lot of people that call me off the off chance and say, oh, I like that song. Or, the other day someone called me and said, listen, I need three o'clock in the morning. Can yeah. you get it? I'm like, oh my gosh, three o'clock in the morning, is like 30 years ago. <laughs> but fortunately, um, I was able to get them a copy. Can you give us a line from that then? Uh, okay. Three o'clock in the morning. I'm wondering where you are. You know I can't close my eyes. I hope you're not far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you done any collaborations? No, but I'd like to do a collaboration with him. One at the moment. Okay. Michael Gordon. Yeah. For sure, because he started all this for me. That's the bubbly. Michael Gordon, yeah, I like yeah. that. Very bubbly. Yeah. I think we've got similar personalities. Yeah. Um, Glamour Wayne. Yeah. Mm. Dennis Pinnock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Dennis Pinnock. I used to have a lot of time for Venture Records when they were in Kensal Rise and that was like years ago. We was like toddlers then. Okay. So Dennis Pinnock, um, who else, who else, who else? At the moment, those three. Okay. At the moment. <laughs> yeah. Would you mind sharing the Farid family the current struggles you think a recording artist may face? Yes. I think that there are, okay. For us, like who has been in quite some time, and like myself that stepped away to come back into it, um, I don't 
don't think that there's enough, especially this genre of Lovers Rock, we don't have enough um, the, the drive, the push, the inspiration, the, the you know, like the, the support mm. of people that have been in this genre a very long time and made an awful lot of, um, I'm not going to say money, but made an awful lot of interest to other people. Mm. I think they could do so much more. It's, but there's a lot of young lovers rock artists coming up and they ain't got no one to turn to. Right now, I have a young man who, oh, I, I'm like, I don't know. Uh, every week he comes by, he does a bit of singing, he, you know, he, he, he lacks a lot of encouragement and I think that we can do so much more, there's a lot more that we can do in this genre to help and because if we don't, it's going to die. Mm. So I think it's very, I don't think there's enough, I don't think there's enough of, of, of support and help. Okay. Even with the artists that are there, I mean like, you know, people are making music now but they're not making music like it was before. We're not getting that sound, we're not getting that feeling. It's like everybody just jumping on the bandwagon because they want to sing. Yeah. But there's no real, you know, drive. There's no real inspiration. There's no, oh, we'll just do it because it will look good. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, we just want to sing. Or we have the passion for music oh, and we want to sing, but and just for the name. But someone told me that once, oh, I don't want to sing. I just want to have a name. And I looked at them and I thought, I'm speaking to you again. Oh, yeah. Simple <laughs> as that. <Shalom>. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm dealing with that. No, but I think we could do a lot more for the industry, this genre especially, I feel like it's going to die. Mm. What struggles have you faced as an artist in the music industry? Um, I think, remember I was one of the, the originals, so then times it was vinyl records and it was easier. The only problem was we weren't getting the, the information regarding publishing mm. and stuff like that and you know like we wasn't now i think that what well, i feel I, I don't want to say the wrong thing but you know what? i'm just going to talk because that's me you know i'm just going to talk <laughs> um there's a lot of artists out there that are not getting a, a airplay enough airplay mm -hmm. they're not getting um the shows mm -hmm. only a certain selected amount of people are getting these shows mm -hmm. And not everybody else, and there's other artists that are just as good, they're not getting the shows. Mm -hmm. um, for me, to be totally honest, I don't. I wouldn't say there's a struggle because I'm not running down nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to come because, as I said, I believe in the Creator and I'm going to bring everything my way. I write my songs. I'm very passionate about my songs and what I do. And I, li I like people to enjoy them and appreciate them. Yeah. But... Um, for me, they, I, I'm not struggling with my music, but I know there's a lot of struggle out there for people, and I want to be, I want to make a difference for those people still. Mm. So I've got some little plans and things that, you know, that I, I want to be putting forward to do to help like young artists develop. Okay. I don't think we have enough artist development. You mean like coaching sort of thing? Yeah. Not enough of art, not enough artist development. And there was an artist that used to, a young artist is not unheard of. He used to come to me all the time about, oh, you've got to write me a song or whatever. I said, no, write the song yourself. Mm -hmm. The man who wrote a song and come to me with a song was like, can I, I'm asking, can I sing this? Is it a good song? A very good song. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but I got, I got on him, I got on him. I was like a proper strict teacher saying, if you, you know, you've got to be good because these people, you know, they, they, they will brush you aside and they'll think, oh, you're not good enough or you're not serious. Mm -hmm. You know, and I always think that, I'm doing something I just want to deal with that one thing at the time with that project before I go on to another project when I'm flying here flying here doing this doing that doing yeah. this too. no I don't like that I like stability because I believe with stability you get the best out of an artist when it's stable yeah if you could give advice to an aspiring artist what would it be believe in themselves try to do their own writing and be patient, have patience, have tolerance. Because this is not a thing, if, if it's something you really want to do and, it's a, and God has inspired you to do that, you have to have tolerance. Because if you're running this thing, you're gonna drop and it's not every time you're gonna get up. You won't be able to get up. And I, some people say it's good to be popular. Don't be that popular. Let people want, let people yearn for you, want. Oh, I heard the artists and I like them. I don't hear much of them, but I want to hear more. 
If you're too popular, sometimes you're putting tracks out one after the other, one after the other. You just kill off the, 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 the four track you put out before that fifth one. So any young artist that's racing, slow down. Hold your horses. <laughs> Hold your horses. Don't be running, 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 because you're going to get lost in this thing, man, because it's a serious thing. It's a serious thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Which artist do you listen to? Reggae artists, love as rock. Okay. Um, it it's varies, it varies, it varies. Um, if we're talking about, so I don't really listen to some music as much as I used to, because mm -hmm. the artists, the, uh, to me, the quality of the artists have changed yeah. in their lyrical content mm -hmm. and um, their message. Um, Dancehall, I used to like dance, I know, when it was Bashman. Good beat. You know, like, I'm um, daddy sick of more tree and then one. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? No. When they're coming with some things, it's like, I'm thinking, are you allowed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Much less I'm buying it on the record. Yeah. I'm like, no, what is the message? There's no message. But Lovers Rock, I'm drawing more, a lot more to Lovers Rock right nowadays. I like, um, I do like Chelsea Stewart. Mm. I like Chelsea Stewart a lot. Um, for, you know, like Frederica Tibbs and mm. Sandra Cross and, um, you know, there's a lot of different artists, but I, I, I tend to more go for the younger, the, un, the unheard of artists, artists that we don't hear of yeah. at the moment. I'm looking, I'm listening up, I'm listening, I'm enjoying the, the new art, the new artists, mm. you know? Yeah. But uh, what I listen to, I listen, I still listen to my Motown, I listen to my soul, I still listen to my reggae. I love Studio One. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> Studio One is my weak spot. Okay. That and Motown. It's the tambourines. Yeah. The tambourines of Studio One, the tambourines of Motown. That's what I listen to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Old artists, young artists, all I always listen to them all. Have you been surprised at this punch from the UK music supporters? Very surprised. Because for someone that was long gone, and just come back and then, oh, I remember her and I remember three o'clock, I remember Saturday night. No, no, baby, Saturday night is here again. Mm. People have said, do that one again, Patch, do that one again. And I'm like, do I really want to do it again? Because Yvonne Curtis mm. did over three o'clock in the morning the other day and I really like it. Oh, did she? Yeah, she done over my song that I wrote when I was 16. The only time that Yvonne Curtis was a big woman to me still. Yeah. But she chose, she said, I, she was asked, why did you choose 3 a.m.? She said, I've always loved that song. And I feel so honored and I feel, I'm so happy that she chose 3 a.m. Yeah. Because 3 a.m. is a big song, you know, for a little girl to sing them type of song there. <laughs> Too big for me. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it mills and boots. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, yeah. Can you share with the Fire Road family what plans you have currently got in the pipeline? Okay, um, well, in the pipe at the moment, I'm doing some writing. I'm doing the writing, writing for a couple of artists that have asked me not to even mention it yet. <laughs> yeah. So I won't, right? Until you give me permission. Um, I got. I'm doing my EP this year. I'm doing my EP in the next couple of months. Okay. Starting the EP, and I've got another track. That um, a gospel track that I'll be coming out with over the next few weeks. Okay. Yeah. How can we get a little looking? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How can we get a little looking? Oh, of course you will get a looking. Most definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. Of course. How can the Fire Red family keep in contact with you? You know what? The Fire Red family is now family, so there shouldn't be no problem. With <laughs> <laughs> your family you're gonna keep in contact I will keep in contact with you we will keep in contact I will let you know what's going on with me um, oh, I've got a show coming up in May as well really with that that's gonna be in Coventry okay yeah and cool. apparently I'm headlining mm. yes, apparently yes <laughs> yes of course you guys that region yeah yeah. It'd be nice if you can come along. Yeah. A little bit of videography for me. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. God, I'm oh. Yes, Can no. you hear that? <laughs> Musical genius. <laughs> don't forget you come in Ascot. Oh, yes, I was invited to Ascot. Yeah. Oh, my, wow. Thank you. I will definitely be there because June is my month, you know. Really? Oh, yeah, I'm born the 8th of June. My okay. birthday. So I'm coming to Ascot for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, that Fire Red family. Oh, yes. Fire Red family.
I will be coming to Ascot. Okay? I'll be there. I'll come and support my family team. You know what I mean? Do my family. I have to. Right. Please feel free to make a shout out to your well wishes. Oh wow, there's so many of them. Jeez, oh, where do I start? First of all, my family. Thank you for being miserable to allow me to do what I've got to do. I appreciate you guys so much. A lot of family, I love you. I love you so much. Winston Silcott, you've been a great inspiration. Thank you, Sticks. You've really been a great inspiration. I remember from day one, I was come to you and I said to you, Sticks, what do you think I should do? And you said, oh, do you know what, Panch? And you always give me the right advice, so I appreciate you. To the dit. Um, the DJs. Skitla B, you got yourself. Now come, Skitla. We're gonna do some work with Skitla this year. Okay. Looking Sorry. forward to that. And Terry Ellery, thank you. You've promoted us in such a way that, wow, he's taken us to a different level completely, and I appreciate. Stevie J. Stevie J, you know you're the man. He is the man. You're the man, Stevie J. You know that. I cannot forget, and I will not forget how this all began for me to be reenacted with my music again father done father done a words can't express i could never express what you've done for me it's all your fault you're the one that got me back into this thing <laughs> yes you father done um also there's oh who else is there there's oh everyone that encouraged me to go back into this and everyone who's been there stand by me and help me I'm not going to leave with RCM Records because RCM Records, you did put me back on the map and I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, and I wish you all the best in the future with your young artists and, you know, the other artists that you're coming up with. I'm always going to be there to cheer you on. Thank you. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? All right. All those music people that love music, all the people that have inspired me in music. I thank you all so very, very much. I don't want to leave out anybody in there. I don't want to leave anybody left. <laughs> <laughs> See, you, so much I want to thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> and thank you, Fiery. Thank you. Yeah. Three o'clock in the morning. Fire Red is on the radio. You know I love you guys' style And that's why I'm got to let you know Fire Red is on the radio Fire Red is gonna rock the show Fire Red, you better get to know Now you know Fire Red's on your show